Right here, okay? I can, I will, I must. Everything is calm, right? Right here, 3,050 jump over one set, 313 PS, 333 cam, all right? Be a monster, what you do. Uh, after two miles, 10 miles, 2100, so right after this, 10 miles on the bike, I'm gonna do, um, and I'll uh, close those hardcore ass. I'm gonna do routes in here, the last five yards up, head up, push through, okay? Each each and everything. Nick and Justin, I excuse you, those champions do, okay? My field will walk in field, do the stairs over there, but I'm gonna do them today because, like I said, the routes on there, on the field, is, is covered in ice. I snowed in the bottom, it's cold in the bottom, it's ice though, it's ice on the bottom, of it, so it's something wrong. So I'll do the indoor facility, make adjustments to it where I run my routes. Uh, like I said, and then it breaks. I want to be the part of the best receiving core in the IFL. I, I know where I want to be at. I'm not going to say where I want to be at uh, right here, but I, every opportunity comes out there, it comes out there. I'm going to be the best that I can be, be the best that I can be, inspire people with hard work, work ethic, and like I said before, hard work, work ethic, and your voice. All right, get that there. I'll be the best receiver I can be. 100% healthy. You know, you got to be blessed unstoppable. I don't care if you'll have, like I said, been in the league three or four years, come down from the NFL. This is what it is. I've been humble, and I've been hungry, okay? Thank God for everything I have. My son, my girl, every single last one of my four walls and roof. All right? But, but meant for something more. You're always meant for something more in this world. And that's what I'm going to prove to my son with this situation. I have fell. Uh, I want him to be there, see me play, see me score a touchdown, give it to him. And that means a lot to me. That's my NFL. To be sitting there literally in Arizona when they're getting ready to put stuff in there. Think of a packed house, okay? Even if it's not packed, even if it's half the facility. At Green Bay, Arizona, Spokane, all right? Get stuff even for next season. Even for when the, when the stands are fully packed. I can't be denied with this, all right? I'm going all in. I'm playing every day. It's my last day every single time. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going like, to literally, like I said before, be a beast, be a monster with this. Be a monster with what you do. All right. Don't sit there and let somebody dictate what you can and can't do in this world. I said it before. I said it again. I don't care. I do not care. All right. Some people, literally, I, I it was it was a crazy situation. I had a um, brain bruise my rookie year, and uh, for the Cleveland Gladiators, I came back and earned the contract. Okay. Stuff like that. You, you work hard. True. Now Brandon Marshall's cousin that told me the ball in Florida. I work my ass off every day. You work your ass off. They don't know me. Basically, you get hurt you're like Wolverine. Still up fast. All right. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story, too. One little story. Um, I remember when I was in college. This is stuff I remember about fans. Uh, fans like me sometimes. People like me, you know, and, um, you know, when we send something to them, like a picture or whatever, that's awesome. Uh, I was at Mount Union, and we won a game, and I played, and um, and uh, after the game, there was this kid, and he was standing there, and people were, I don't know if they were ignoring him, but he wasn't, he wasn't getting up there. I had gloves, right? I had my gloves. So I signed my gloves, all right? I gave it to the kid. I went down near to the kid. I was like, here you go, kid, all right? Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting us. Um, you know, thank you. Thank you, man. You know, and I left. Come to find out, I had no idea. I had no idea who that was. I think it was a, it was a kid of an administrator. One of the coaches told me what they wanted to thank me. And they thanked me and what he did was he took my gloves that I signed and he put it over the door, put a nail in it, the hammer and put it over the door. That's the kind of stuff that you remember. You remember that stuff. All right? You remember that stuff all the time. All right? You're going out there. People see your story. It's funny because people are amazed at the situation. They, they, uh, they, and it's true. Half of it's true. They don't care about what you're doing until you make it. And, and like I said, the journey, every single time I've been through it, okay? I've been right by them. I've been through it. Not many people care about it, but it is what it is. But you remember fans like that, fans that write to you, do that stuff, even Arena Football League, NFL, uh, when I was out there for camp situations. Um, I, I ignore all the hate, ignore all the negative talk by some of these other coaches and pick their players, ignore that, all right? Be the best. Be so good they can't ignore you, and be so good they come out there after the game and, and you know, shake your hand as a man, you know, say I was wrong. You know, that, that is what it is. You were right in your heart all along. I know this, okay? I know it. So if I get a chance out there, I'm fighting for the chance. It's not if, it's when. I'm hoping it's when, all right? Uh, it's when. But that story right there about signing gloves for the kid and he put it over his door, that means something to me. Like, that actually means something. You know, so when people understand, look at who you are, look at what you've been through, look at what you're doing, look at where you're from, New York, Florida, Ohio, all the place, they, they actually like that. They actually know that situation because it, it's... Uh, you know, you try to tell people, try to tell kids this, try to tell all the time, uh, people are just get inspired by this. Don't let, don't quit because somebody has it easy. Don't stop because somebody has it easier on you. Don't, don't blame where you're at in life on somebody else. Make an adjustment to it. Make an adjustment to it no matter what. Don't blame 
where you're at in life on somebody else saying, I could have, would have, should have done this. That guy thinks this. He likes this guy. He likes this. Stop. 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 When I gave that kid my gloves, that's the one at Mount Union. He gave the kid my gloves. Like I said, he put my, I put my name on it. He, saw, he put it over his door. Put it over his door, and he hung it there. And I just found out that the next week in practice, the coach was telling me that that was an administrator's son. I had no idea who it was. But that right there is the kind of stories that stick with you. Even in the arena football, the IFL, you, you are not the only one to bust their ass. There's other people out there that bust their ass every single time, but you have to go out there. You have to be the first one there, the next one. You have to want it. You have to want it, all right? And before my time is done, they will remember my name. You have to have that mindset, and I do. And I cannot wear my mask. Why? Because I can. Right here and here, and my work ethic, everything. No matter what age somebody is, no matter what somebody's doing, fuck that, all right? But stay humble, stay hungry, and understand this. No matter what in any situation you are, it's professional level, NFL, arena football, you are a role model to these people. You actually have to. People actually look up to you. And there are worse situations than you are in sometimes, okay? Sometimes you don't have it as bad as you think, okay? So, right here on everything. I cannot wait on my tunnel vision. February 10th, 2021 for my son, for everything, all right? Right here, because I know. I'd be the part of the best receiving core I can be, get a chance where I know I, I could be at right there, where I know I can go at and be a part of it. And just keep working every single day, no matter if they got the guys there, because you never know. One injury, one quit, one trade, one stuff away. You got to be ready to shine. And I will be ready to shine in my darkest hour, no matter what, on everything 100, keep 100 every single day right there for my son. I will be ready to shine. Get a chance, opportunity out there, no excuses. No excuses whatsoever. Be the best slot wide receiver I could be. Learn everything I can. Suck everything up, no matter what. Take it day in, day out, and be the best. Always be the best. Don't go for mediocrity. Go for the great.